Welcome back, nerds. And once again, we're here messaging a haunted mansion. Last time you um, got to witness my untimely demise. Yeah, so what we learned last time was that we don't go down in here uh, without some source of light. But now I feel like I have to do it again. It's um, so dark in here. Just so she knows that she needs a light or something. I don't know. I feel like that's a thing. Um, okay, let's just... No. Yes, okay. And then we looked under here, and we seen the equipment, the smoke machine, and grabbed the tape. Alright. Okay, so now... Nancy, back up. Turn around. Okay, so now... Um have the oops sorry the music notes to play all right uh so b e g g is that it no oh wait This is B. B. There we go. Start at the wrong spot. Oh, it's one of those that used to play the music. That's so cool. My love, here is the key you'll need. The bandit's treasure. I think I put that on top of something. I think so. All right, uh, I did the piano notes. Got in the office of the tile. Okay, so now I have to find somewhere for that paper to go and the cassette tape to go. So, let's see. And, ooh, ooh, wait, while I'm down here, I can fix this. Ha! Yes, yes, yes. All right. So I should also now when I go upstairs, I should be able to see uh, what is up there. Abby is snoring. All right. Ah ha ha ha! Yes, give to me and uh, I. Okay, that means I. Should have left more room on this paper for this. I. <sighs> okay. Close this. All right, we got that done. Um. <laughs> this is great. It's so great. All right, let's just let's just sit in here for a second. Okay, so um, all right. So let me look at that. This I think I oh ooh, let's go back up to the attic for that before everyone wakes up and starts telling me what I need to do. Uh, is it unlocked it's or not. do it? Okay, curvy key opens the door. Because I think, wasn't it in the desk? Oh, I went the completely wrong way for that desk, didn't I? And this. And this. Yeah, the bandit's treasure. Hang on. Haha. -ha. Okay, uh, find. Diego on stairs. Oh, Diego, that's what I gotta put in this. Okay, so D I E G O. All right, we are cruising along on this episode. This is, I'm very excited. Um, oh, I just, I love, I just love these games so much. I went all the way around for no reason. It's stuck. Oh, Nancy, just. Once I do it once, you should just know. You should just know. All right, Diego D. 
I E. So that one moves on its own. I'll do that one last. G. Ooh, that one moves all of them. And then O. D. This is supposed to be I. D. I. E. G. O. D. I. E. G. O. D. D. I. Oop, there we go. E. E. G. O. Yes. Coins. False. Floor. Coins false floor? What did I just get? Oh, that? Oh, open. Diego, I've waited so long for your return, but have kept our treasure true. Here in, is the tool you'll need to find it. May your rainbows never run out of luck. E. The steers and moon will shine on you as you begin your quest. Move like a knight upon <sighs> something. Oh gosh. Take care to keep your path in check along the outside border so you may see the sun return to claim its rightful order. All right, move like a knight across the floor. Thanks, okay, all right. That's cool. So I don't know what to do with this yet. I can't remember anyways. I need to find something that is a light source. Was there anything in the, in the, I don't know. What is this, the front room over here? Um. Is there like a flashlight or something? Somewhere, anywhere. Ooh, ooh, I got the last tile. Let me get that. Aha, what's this do? This is gonna open up something else secret. I heard a click. What was the click? Oh, was it this? Ooh, secrets. All right, okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez, okay. So that must open Ah, that opens the bookshelf. Okay, I don't want to go out there. Ah, lantern. Yes. Okay, uh, what is this? Baby, oh, child. Okay, so child. Looks like a three with a line through it. Child. All right. Oh. Ooh, I can look out and do some spying. All right, so, ooh, I wonder if I have to, I think I have to spy on Lewis. So Lewis doesn't get in till noon. It's 1.30 in the morning. Um, I think I will, I think I'm gonna go back to bed. And then let's see if I can't like get in here. I'll wake up at like 11 and then maybe I can get get down and in there in time to spy on him. I don't know why I want to spy on him, but it could be a thing that I need to do. I don't remember. I remember I have to spy on him though. I think I've, I had to have played this game way too many times. Creek. Okay, so let's say Abby's still snoring. All right, let's go use this alarm clock. Okay, so yes, I want to set it for 11 a.m. set. There we go. Wait. Okay, I'm 
up. I don't think anything's different. Okay, let's go spy. Ooh. What is this? Open! Leave the magic now! No. Don't wanna. Don't tell me what to do. Trying to get me all scared and spoopy. I have to quickly go get down here before Lewis comes in for work. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, uh, fire. fire. Yes. Yes, thank you, fire. Nancy. Yes, back up, Nancy. It's too late. All right, so don't go look at the box. Go find the fire extinguisher. It was here. Yes. Okay. Close. Come on. 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 Use fire. No. Use this. Yes. Just keep shouting fire. I have some quick response time. Tell you what. I talked to everybody in the house. And none of them can figure out what caused the fire. It's a ghost. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. Why? What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. I mean, I guess if you want. Say, but you seem pretty gung ho about it. From the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy oh. him. How could he have forgotten? No, I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter what. Nothing can drive yes. me away. I don't you care if it's do fire, this, Rose. earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. <sighs> oh, goodness. Fire, but why did you spend so much money yeah. to insure the house against fire? You sure did. I've put my entire life savings into this house. And if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. Oh, yeah. I can True story. I'll let you go. Bye. All right. I got a lantern now so I can go to the thing. What time is it? See, I needed to get. <sighs> oh, well, I'm going to go to the basement then. Uh, okay. Oh, I can't because yeah, he's yeah, here gotta believe me, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. She did. Oh my goodness, okay. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I yeah. did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one, so I returned it. So Lewis took the fire screen Lewis is trying to get Rose to sell it and he's researching the history of the house alrighty and that's all there is and to it all there is to it everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there but I had nothing to do with them I can tell you this there's something unusual going on in this house hmm why what, makes what? You say that? Makes I better you say not say that. anymore sorry can you tell me well, more come about on now. accidents? I'd really rather not talk about that right now. You can't just lead me on like you know what's happening and then just, No, I won't talk about it. I won't talk about Have it. Have you ever heard of someone named Valdez? I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Oh. I just read a book on him for my history class. Nice. Oops. Was he from San Francisco? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. How do you huh. like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? She always does the disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose has sort of had it, you know? Abby right? thinks the house is haunted. Do Those you? kinds of people sure. are so annoying. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers hmm. right before the fire. Have you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. I'll let <sighs> you get back to your renovation. Really? Bye, Nancy. There's, 
There's a secret passageway right behind you. Can you leave now so I can explore it? Oops. So I guess I gotta go back to bed. I gotta go back to bed anyways. Um, so let's see. So Charlie leaves at five. Uh, let's... Um, oh, is Abby there? Hi, Nancy. I can't believe we had a fire. I can't believe it. I bet Charlie was down there before it started. Why? Why you say that? Because he's always around at the scene of these accidents. I told Rose to fire him, but she won't listen to me. Yeah, caught you. You rigged up your seance. You the seance table with a projector. <sighs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. <laughs> Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. Okay, It'll fair be enough. A great way to promote the place. I guess. Have you been creating these accidents to help your promotion? Of course not. I've had nothing to do with these accidents. They cost us both <sighs> time and money. If you want to find out who's behind the accidents, ask our resident handyman. Do you mean Charlie? Ugh, I don't clear think to me it's that Charlie. Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Oh, then you're really an observant. What? He's just doing his handiwork job. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. <laughs> How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other oh, people in so this town, true. and believe me, advertising is so so important with anything in any business. Advertising is key. Yeah, where are those papers, papers? Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. But they weren't in your room. I'm going room. to ask Lewis if he hmm. can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. Thought they all burned. Uh, historical display? Yes, they're very popular in bed and breakfasts. They usually contain old photographs, letters, documents, things like that. Were right. there any photographs with the papers? I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. Hmm. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Do you have any idea who this woman might be? No, I don't. Sorry. Were you crying in the hall? crying in the hallway. Was that it was you? you! I told you the spirits were interested in you. Uh, was it a woman crying? Yeah, it sounded like you. Yes, it was. How did you know? Hmm. It must be one of our phantom residents. Phantom you residents? Know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Whatever. Ta -ta for now. Alright, actually, Abby is out from three to six. So maybe I will go chill in my room for a half hour and see if Abby leaves. Cause then I think I can like sneak in, oh, that's still my letter. Cause I think I can like sneak into Abby's room if she's gone, right? I mean, that's what Nancy does. Um, it's still 2.30. So yeah, Abby's out from 3 to 6. Okay, so let's... Uh, we'll go look at Ann Abby's room. Um, and then we'll just wait until Charlie leaves in the basement. We'll go down there with our lantern. And then we'll go to bed and then we'll wake up at 11 again. And hopefully we can go spy on... Lewis at that time. Oh, I thought this game's time moved faster. I'm pretty sure it does. 
I don't know what the the difference is to be honest though um yeah all right 245 probably another minute so yeah so that's our plan we have a few Chinese symbols we have five Chinese symbols we have gold fire for I and child um Listen, my child. So there's child. To my story of dreams. And know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. And the ten daughters are reunited in order when four. We have four. A side box loses order. When the eye of the phoenix, we have eye. Um, when the bird of fire, we have fire. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays, no. the king of the sky will shine its rays, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. Okay, so we have, so we're missing a few. I think there's one per line. Oh, wait, is it time? All right, so Abby should be gone now. Wow, she just leaves her room unlocked. This is some interesting wallpaper. Tell you what. Mastering the art of illusion. Oh yeah, she's definitely faking it. Oh yeah, dried roses. Why is that even an option? All right. Um. Oh. Oh my gosh, she can see out in the hallway. Ha! Huh. That's not cool. All right. Oh. Zodiac and you. Chinese tradition. The Chinese horoscope is organized in a 12-year cycle, with each year assigned to a certain animal. While the origin of these animals sign is unclear, many believe that they were named by Buddha. Before he departed from Earth, he summoned all the animals, but only 12 came to bid him farewell. As a reward, he named a year after each one in the order that they arrived. First came the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and boar. Um, I feel like I will need that order, so let me write that down. Uh, okay, so rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse. I am a horse. I do know that. I do remember that from my zodiac. Year of the horse. Rooster. Dog. Boer. All right. Let's see. Uh, what else you got? Fortune telling for business popularity. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna do it, I guess, you know, do it right. Oh, a little drawer. Oh, moon incense. That one looks a lot like I, but it's connected differently. Huh, okay, so moon. It's a moon incense. So cool. All right. Uh, nothing else. Oops, just back up. Oh, that's cool. I always loved these. I think they're nifty. Uh, no? Nothing? Oh, come on. There has to be something. No? You just want me to look at it? Alright. I mean, cool, I guess. Can't get in the drawers. Here we go. Old West Romances. Lizzie Applegate and the Bandit, according to the legend, 
the infamous masked bandit El Diablo fell madly in love with Lizzie Applegate during her years as an entertainer at gold mining camps. At the end of Lizzie's performances, El Diablo would ride his jet black steed up to the stage and leave her a bo bouquet of gardenias. It was rumored that Lizzie joined El Diablo's band of thieves and was present at the Christmas gold robbery of 1873. All right. Passionate love story. Okay. Ooh, what's in here? Something's missing here. Ooh, okay. So I need a spider. So I don't think I've seen one. That must be her bathroom. Oh, there's that thing that I did earlier. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow, she has cameras up and everything. Haunted group A. So she's called me too. So she's doing it to me. Why is she doing it to me? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, can I put this in here? Where is that? Here's. Who has called me forth from the great beyond? Seriously, pure recording. That is so stupid. All right. <sighs> Can I, do I have to put her little spider back, or? There we go. I don't want her to know I was snooping in here. I mean, she probably will. Alright, so I did that. So now let's, um, what time is it? Oh, it's only four, and Charlie does not leave until five. Okay, so let's. This way, I don't know. Let's see. Um, Hello. Let me see. Do you think Charlie is responsible for these accidents? Abby thinks he is, but I'm not sure. I really trust in him, and I'm willing to give him not the benefit Charlie. of the doubt. He's just Charlie doing Lula? his thing. He told me he just moved here from Iowa, but doesn't have a place of his own yet. He said he's staying with friends. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. I don't think it's Charlie. Now, Lewis is a little, uh, odd. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, Lewis is the one I don't trust. Hi, Nancy. What's up? I'll oh. let you get back to your Her renovations. Bye. Okay, so he doesn't have anything else to say. I spoke with Abby. Um, I guess I can go talk with Lewis. I don't think... I haven't spoken to Lewis in a minute. I still gotta go spy on Lewis. Um... Oops, get off there. I still have to stop it. I still have to go spy on Lewis. Um, but I will do that in a minute. Ah, Nancy, what a shame to have lost those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Did you hear anything in the parlor? Yeah, Did you're you like right story? next to the parlor. No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Were the papers very I don't think valuable? Old Victorian Not house don't have thick walls. Now, but they must have had Do some they? sentimental value. Okay. I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of yes, that Yes, you name. have. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. Okay. What kind of store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. <laughs> and it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing in the Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it hmm. may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. 
Well, there was. They just burnt. Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? Yeah. No, I don't. Now, now I remember. I, I was to purchase an antique fire screen, oh, but come never found on. a suitable match. I feel just terrible. I must apologize to Rose about this. Jeez. Do you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. Hmm. But whatever her decision... She's I doing fine. I mean, I don't think it looks bad, like, at all. I think it looks gorgeous. This, this place is amazing. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Yes, I certainly do. She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies Protection Society. So you'll, okay, the yeah, yeah. Society. A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. Mm -hmm. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges. He but is he's the only one. Very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. Did Lizzie ever wear? Men's I think clothing? she did. I think that was her <laughs> in the picture. I'm sure she played some roles where she had to dress as a man, but she was quite an elegant woman, quite fashionable for her time. I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye. All right. Did that make it till five? Sure did. So I'm sure once I leave, he will leave. Um, to the basement. Oh, well, actually, no, not to the basement. So this is all the time that I have for this video. Um... We go to the basement first thing. First thing next video, I promise I'll get to the basement. Um, and then we will spy on Lewis after that. So, that's all the time I have for today. See you guys to finish up this mystery. Bye.